By day, he teaches at a local high school. By night, he ventures into the world of superheroes. A Coquitlam man well, is making a local comic book company has been given the unofficial industry. title of the Colorado largest such operation in Canada. So tonight, we check out a local comic book creator who may have some superpowers of his own when it comes to big business. Our own Jay Brown's got the details on Arcana Studios. I'm a great science and math teacher. That's by day. By night, O'Reilly brings his hero Cade to life. Clark Kent by day and Superman by night, so the digital Superman. Star Canna Studios is the only one from Canada taking part after being recognized by industry leaders. But this is the Oscar for the comic book industry. Arcana has been growing strong and receiving awards since it started in this basement just more than a year ago. So we want to see video game development, uh, movie development. And we've talked with a number of large studios, and I would like to see us in about two years. If we haven't worked with one of the big ones, we will become a big one and we'll actually self-produce our video games and movies. So I started as a comic book publisher in 2004, published a single issue of Cade, um, 32 pages, a little floppy, sold it, got my money back, I did a second issue, a third issue, uh, we've now done 300 graphic novels, and we now opened up an animation studio in 2012. I'm the VP and the Vice President of Arcana. I am is responsible for all of the payroll, um, all the insurance, for all of the productions that we do. I do all of the boring paperwork that people don't care about behind a film. But all has to be done, otherwise we don't have a film. Yeah, I'm the Animation Director at Arcana. I look at the animator's shots, I approve their acting, I give them suggestions with the camera. I also do my own shots, my own animation. I also uh, keep track of where the show is at. Yeah. The cool thing about Arcana is that we actually started as a comic book company. Yeah, we did ship so we develop all of our movies and TV shows but based off of the comic books that we publish. And we have over 300 comic book titles. And with all those titles, there's so many different things that we can do. We've had quite a few. I won a top 40 under 40 for uh, British Columbia, and then a little later with Codwell Partners, the top 40 under 40 in Canada. So those were fairly notable ones I was very proud of. Uh, we've also won ones to watch. Howard Lovecraft has gone on to win four different awards at film festivals, including the New York Fear Film Festival. And I think those are probably some of the, the ones I'm most proud of over the career. The cool thing about an animation studio is it takes more than just an animator to bring a movie to life. My job as a technical artist is to take what the animators make and make it look pretty. Here at Arcana, we're always looking to be on the leading edge of technology and innovation to be on that forefront of technology and make sure that we have what it takes to have pretty animation. With 3D modeling, we create three-dimensional characters and environments based on concept art. And to do this, we use a variety of software such as Maya and ZBrush. To animate a character, it's not just to move a character around, it's to make the character alive. and. That's what uh, the old school puppeteers used to do. They used to try to make their puppets believably alive. It's excellent. I like it. I get to bring my dog to work, so that's a bonus. Um, it's good, we have a really good crew. Really happy with everyone we have on staff here. 
Uh, what I would suggest for beginners is to, you know, go to school, find an animation school. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, there's a lot of self-teaching in animation. Uh, I'm constantly watching videos and referencing acting and, and doing my own performances uh, for my shots. So, yeah, my biggest piece of advice is just self-teach. Self just teach yourself, watch tutorials, read up on the latest technology. Honestly, passion. It's the only thing that will keep you moving. Every yeah. day is a problem. Every day is a challenge. Yeah. Uh, and you have to have uh, an ability to fight through it and go through it and either figure a way through it, around it, over it, under it, or, or just move on and, and find a new one. But uh, I think if you don't love it, absolutely love it, I, I don't, think, don't think it can be done, to be honest with you.